What's up board gamers, thanks for checking out our review of Framework. Framework is a light strategy tile laying game with the following description. Framework consists of 60 simple and 60 complex tiles with each player starting with 22 tokens. On a turn the lead player draws and reveals a balanced assortment of simple and complex tiles with one more tile than the number of players. Each player in turn selects a tile with the lead player being forced to take the final tile. When you take a tile, place it adjacent to at least one other tile in your display, then see whether you complete any tasks on your tiles. Each time you do, cover that task with a token. Whoever places all of their tokens wins. Players are connecting tiles into their own display to have a line of contiguous coloured frames on the tiles leading back to a scoring task to enable them to play a marker. The tiles are made up of a combination of five different coloured frames and several different ways for players to score their markers. You will see in this review I place the scoring markers slightly off centre to show how the scoring works. This tile requires five red wooden frames leading back to it and placing a scoring marker with an option to score 5 blue frames if they also connect. This tile requires either 3 yellow or 3 red brick frames adjoining this tile to be able to score it. This tile helps build up towards several tile requirements which makes them very useful. This tile's requirement is unique in that both coloured frames must touch this tile to score but in any combination. So to score the lowest task of 6, you may have 5 blue frames leading back to one edge and a single red on another side of the tile. With this tile, red cannot be scored until the blue 4 has been completed. Each round the active player creates a market of tiles comprised of the number of players plus 1. They take the first tile and the last tile for that round and play them into their display. Quite often players are taking tiles that don't initially seem very helpful but as their display grows more and more scoring options are revealed and this creates avenues that didn't previously exist. So as the game progresses players will have some big turns where they place out a lot of scoring markers which can be satisfying. There are also several decision points in the game where players can see that some tiles are just not going to be scored and keep pushing forward to find other ways to score those markers. And players can't score big off every type of frame, which I really like as it forces you to make decisions and creates variety game to game. The things to be mindful of in Framework are that it takes a while for scoring to start flowing and taking tiles that don't obviously help you initially feels contrary at first. And the game comes with a bag to draw tiles from, but we found that it added time to the gameplay and we were happy to lie them out on the table for a random draw. The things that we like about Framework is that it provides players with a great deal of thought in a short time frame. It's satisfying when you have a big turn and play a lot of scoring markers in quick succession. You can generally play this more than once when getting it to the table which does add a lot of value to the game. Framework plays in a similar way to Nova Luna and this is worth mentioning because if you like Nova Luna you will most likely enjoy Framework. This game is slightly more thinky and players can score the tile itself, where in Nova Luna you can only score the adjoining tiles. Here at Board Game Picks we give Framework a 7.5 out of 10 for being a fun, thinky tile laying game that can be played over and over. Thanks for checking out our review of Framework.